just before the video starts guys I want to say I'm, there's going to be a little change in the rules so as you can see this is the upgrades and downgrades board that we've had all season and um, I'm going to make a slight alteration to this and you'll see this in your screen in a couple of seconds and hopefully you guys agree with it let me know in the comments down below but um, I just wanted to point this out to you guys as you can see fourth place means no spin and um, from fifth downwards we get downgrades and only for the podium we get upgrades so hopefully you guys agree with it if you do let me know in the comments down below and without further ado we're going to jump straight into the British Grand Prix. Hey there guys, it's Tom and welcome back to a brand new video and this is part number 9 of my F1 2015 Zero to Hero career mode and we're here for the British Grand Prix and um, this is a track we're going to wanna, gonna wanna put on our show for the fans because this is the team's home race here at, uh, in the British Grand Prix so we're definitely going to put on our show for the guys in the factory at Williams who are putting so much hard work into the car and then um, we're going to give back to all the fans here as well so um, hopefully we can have a good result here this weekend and um, hope it all goes well and we're definitely looking forward to this so um definitely a race that I want to really do well at and um, if you guys remember last time in Austria we came in P4 so um, we've still got the full upgraded setup for this race so um, we're going to try and push for that race victory once again and um, you'll see in a moment now we're going to load up the setup and um, I believe except for the odd minor tweak it is going to be the exact same setup as Austria because Austria and Silverstone in my opinion are very similar tracks um, a gener generally a high speed circuit with a lot of fast corners so we're not going to change much of the setup we're just going to change the front wing from 2-2 two -two to 3-2 and um, that's basically it, not many other changes in the setup, so um, we're definitely going to be pushing hard this weekend for the home fans and we're um, going to be trying to get a good result because we want to get ourselves back on track after that poor result last time out in Austria, getting that P4 and um, we're going to try and hunt down Lewis Hamilton in the Drivers' Championship, so um, <clears throat> as you can see, that's our setup done, we're going to jump into practice now and um, as you can see, we're currently uh, about to start our first lap of the practice session on the prime tyres here and I um, remember in season one, I was really confident around here, and the car really worked good. So I'm hoping we got the same thing once again, because um, I'm hoping that we can really make some inroads in the AI this race. And as you see, on our first lap in practice, we actually on the back of Ricardo now we have a bit of an altercation here. It says contacting. We used to be in a little bit there, so a little bit of contact in practice, and um, that actually ruined our first time lap. And um, we're gonna have to come back into the pits and um, set another time lap. And uh, as you can see now, we're coming across the line now to set our, our first time lap of the session, which is our second proper lap in the session. We've only five minutes to go, so um, we're going to come across the line. We go fastest out of everybody, so a really good lap there from us and setting the pace and um, definitely laying down a statement of intent that we're going to be fastest race. And um, yeah, this should be really good and it does bode well for the race. And hopefully we can continue this momentum into the British Grand Prix. So without further ado, we're going to go straight into the race. It's race day here for the British Grand Prix and I definitely can't wait for this and um, it should be a really good race. We had some really good pace in practice and uh, hopefully we can carry that on into the race and um, as you can see we're looking at the grid stand at the back as per usual and um, Nico Hulkenberg there again a really impressive 6th place there in his full Cindy and Lewis Hamilton starting on pole in front of the home fans so he's definitely going to want to try and win this race here for the British fans and um, we're going to try and spoil the party here and try and get the 25 points as we gear up to the 5 red lights for the British Grand Prix and we are Underway in the fifth flight took an absolute age to go out and finally we managed to get underway getting a pretty wobbly start but not too bad actually right on the back of the manor still as we're going to try and slide our car up the inside of both of the manors up the inside of turn one a little bit of contact there but we make the move past both of the manors nevertheless as now we're going to try and line up a move up the inside of turn number three here into the loop section up the inside of both of the McLarens a bit of contact once again a little bit of wheel banging but we make the move up the inside of Alonso and the uh, button's actually going to come back us up the inside of turn four here so we're going to have to try and defend from the British man here also in his home Grand Prix so a lot of home drivers here this race has been out in the slipstream of Jensen Button going 
going down the straight here and uh, we're going to see if we try making move up the inside off turn number six or seven it depends if you count the kink or not but up the inside of Luffield nonetheless we made the move on Jensen Button there nice and easily and then now we're going to see if we try and pass Roman Grosjean who's directly in front of us here and um Skipping later on onto the race, as you see, we're in the slipstream, we're going down the hanging stream, we're going to pull the inside of Stowe, and we're going to make a double overtake on Grosjean and Felipe Nazza. So, a really nice double overtake there. We're now on the back of Carlos Sainz Jr. as we pull it up the inside of the Panama corner here. Really nice move up the inside of the Val Chicane, and we're up with the P13 already at the end of lap number one. So, really good start to the race so far. And um, hopefully, we continue this form as now we go onto the start lap number two, and we're on the back of Marcus Ericsson here as we go through turn one now. And we're going to, see if we can try and pick out a nice apex to try and get a nice run on the Swedish driver. And yes, we do. We get right on the back of and we're going to try and pull to the inside for turn number three and outbreak him nicely and we do so as we got the inside of Marcus Ericsson there and a nice move into the loop section and are now wrapping the P12 and can we try and hunt down now Mr. Max Verstappen so um, he'll be the next target on our list and then we've got some really good pace so far this race so hopefully we can try and overtake him as we get a really good run on the exit of Stowe here we're going to pull to the outside and we're going to try and make the move around the outside of the Valtteri can Maldonado breaking really early and we're going to go around the outside of both cars here and Maldonado is now on our outside and we're going to make the move of the inside and it's been contact between Maldonado and Verstappen but we've made the move in the P10 nevertheless and we set a personal best lap and there's the yellow flag presumably for the contact behind there must have been some kind of altercation there but we made the move nonetheless and we're up at the P10 already so a really good start to the race so far for us and now we're going to try and hunt down Sergio Perez is in front of us as we go through Maggots and Beckett's on lap number three uh, very overcast Silverstone and we're going to try and set Perez up for a cutback on the exit of Chapel as we kick out onto the hangar straight now with DRS now enabled this should be a full one conclusion as we pass Perez up the inside nice and easy there with the DRS wide open and it's a job well done and no fight whatsoever from the Mexican there All right, I'm wrapping the P9 so um good start from the race so far as we go on to lap number four now and uh, we're on the back of Danny Kvyat as we go through the old turn one cops corner and um, he's on the back of Hulkenberg as we go into the maggots and Beckett's chicane and uh, we've got a really good run on Danny Kvyat here and we can we possibly line him up for a move maybe into the hangar strip we we'll have to wait and see as we once again get the cutback line on Danny Kvyat here we're going to get a really good run out of the corner uh, as we come out of chapel going down onto the hangar strip we've got the DRS wide open and Hulkenberg to sit in duck as Kvyat's also got DRS as we go free wide down the straight here into the stow and we're going to go around the outside of both of them here and rubbing the p7 and that is definitely the overtake off the grand prix so far and what a move that is on both of the drivers there absolute scenes here at Silverstone. we're already up in the p7 and now we're going to try to go into p6 as we go past our teammate here down the hanging strip with the rs wide open on lap five and it's a job well done for us and rubbing the p6 already on lap five so really really good pace so far and absolutely incredible overtake so far from us and uh, definitely putting on a show for the british fans here but now lap seven master is going to come back at us as you can see up the inside with the rs and then we are scheduled to pit this lap so will massa pit with us this lap we have to wait and see and we're going to try and pull into the pits here massa does go into the pits so we're going to have to go around for another lap here around silverstone with these option tires which isn't what we wanted because uh, we're gonna have to really struggle with these tires especially that front left tire which is really really burning but um on lap eight here we go into the pit lane finally for a pit stop and um we've got ricardo in front of us going around for another lap and i believe the rest of the top five did go around for a couple more laps because they, they were going to try and one stop it whereas we're going to try and two stop it so um we're going to see what strategy is the better one come the end of the race but um here we are coming in for our pit stop through this very very slow pit lane i think it's the slowest one on the calendar really really slow it takes absolutely forever to get through the pit lane and um, it's a 2.2 pit stop from the mechanics there it's a really good stop from the boys and uh, so far we're only down to p7 so um we've got a nice bit of clear ahead of us once we rejoin the track and so far no one is in our sight so we should be able to um, rejoin in some nice clean air here at Silverstone as there's more people in the pits behind us and um, we rejoin the track there and there's basically you know, one inside. we're actually going to come out right in front of Felipe Massa so we've managed to get the overcut on our teammate here so a Massa who pit a lap ago um, has not made the undercut work and we've managed to make the overcut work for us and as you can see we've come out right in front of him and Massa tries to get up the inside of turn 4 there but doesn't make the move stick and um, we are on cold tyres however so we are going to have to watch out for Massa who's right on our gearbox as we kick out onto the Wellington straight and Massa's going to have DRS on us so we're going to have to try and defend really hard here from our teammate as we pull to the inside a little bit to try and put him off but Massa goes for the move nonetheless and we can break much later and that's because he's got the much warmer tyres and Massa's having the P7 for the time being but we're going to try and dive it up the inside of uh, Brooklyn's there but we have a bit of contact with Massa here we're going to go side by side on the exit Veto Alonso S from 2014 here as we're now in the slip stream of our teammate once again as we go through Woodcut down the straight into the cops old turn 1 as we pull to the inside can we make a move on Massa up the inside of the old turn 1 yes we can and we make a move with the P7 and we re-overtake our teammate there after a good little battle there over a couple of corners over half a lap so um really good move there on our team as we set the purple up now on lap 12 on the fresh tyres and the top 5 I've pitted for fresh tyres are up at the P4 
already so we made the undercut work on some of the cars but we do have one more pit stop left so we are going to have to crank up the pace even more to try and gain some time on this top five as now Rosberg's right ahead of us on the cold tyres and we are going to have the DRSM now as we go down the Wellington straight and um, Rosberg is going to be a sitting duck just like I was a couple of laps ago with our teammate because we've we actually haven't got the RSA, but we are getting a lot in the slipstream. We're going to pull to the inside. Dive bomb out the inside of Nico Rosberg there. And it's a really good overtake there for P3. And then without the RSA, like I said, a really good dive bomb there. Last minute overtake. And um, no, not perfect. You see, there's a bit of a yellow flag slash green flag situation. Stevens is going really slow on the airbase of Chapel. They're having to negotiate the traffic there. And we're now on the back of Kimi Rockin, as you can see, on lap 14. And um, that contact with Stevens seems to have held him and Hamilton up because they're both directly in front of us. And we're going to get a really good run. On Kimi, through turns one and two, we're going to double up the inside of turn three here on the ice man, and it's a nice textbook overtake there on the finish driver, and we're going to end the move from the P2, and now lap 15, we're on the back of Lewis Hamilton, we make a really good move on him here, through Magus and Beckett and Chapel, and we're going to try and line up for an overtake on the exit, and as we kick out onto the hangar straight, we're going to go side by side with the British driver, as we go now side by side down the straight with the RS wide open, and can we make the move before uh, uh, Stowe Corner, yes we do, make the move over to P1, we're happy to do the race, but Merry's going really slow on the apex there, which is going to affect us a little bit, because Hamilton's going to try and come back us, and it's actually Raglan who comes back as we come into the pits there, and a bit of a mad situation there, that's changing camera and Hamilton trying to overtake us but we actually we managed to get away unscathed luckily enough for us and um that's a bit of a hectic situation there between us Kimi Raikkonen and, and Lewis Hamilton there and also Mary in the manor so um very mad situation there but finally we're into the pits on lap 16 and we're going to come in for our final pit stop for a set of prime tyres so um, this should be our last stop of the race and um, it's a 2.5 pit stop from the boys so not too bad from them we've seen better but uh not too bad but we have seen better pit stops from them like I said and um we're going to bridge on the track and it should be in P6 just behind Daniel Ricciardo who's passing us right now on our left hand side and um, we should be in clean air which is good for us because we should be able to set some purple lap times here real quick as soon as we get the tyres up for temperature and that's skipping later on as you can see we've got a car in the pits and I believe it's Nico Rosberg so we've got the P5 for the time being and we're going to have to try and negotiate Roberto Murray's going really slow almost hitting the back of him they're going onto the grass a little bit but we managed to negotiate the Manor car nicely there and uh, Ricciardo's come, uh, not Ricciardo Rosberg's come out of the pits right behind us there as Ma uh, Murray does it right up the inside of turn 4 there for some reason so Murray decided to go for a dive bomb on us and Rosberg's going to try and get a piece of the action he goes up the inside but we're going to shut the door on him and that was so close that could have been contact but we're now in the back of the stream of Roberto Murray and we're going to try and pass him back because I don't know what he's doing there trying to take us as my wheel actually briefly disconnected down the straight there but uh, we're going to pass Roberto Murray back there after that ridiculous move he tried to make on us in turn 4 for some reason even though he's a lap car and now lap 21 Rosberg's coming back at us down the hangar straight up the inside is he going to make the move but side by side through Stowe Corner Rosberg's going to get on the power and we're going to lose the rear end against him almost having a bit of contact there Rosberg's on the fresh option so he's going to be so much faster than us as we go into the bell chicane up the inside Rosberg's going to step her inside though we're going to try and go side by side through the final corner onto lap number 22 we're going to get run the back of Rosberg and there's going to be contact we're going to lose the rear end into the wall and we're going to lose our front wing and Rosberg's gone round and uh, wow, I don't know how to say, Rosberg seemed to slow down on the apex of the corner there, which made us go straight into the back of him, and I couldn't seem to detach my front wing from his rear wing, so um, we've lost the rear, the front wing there, and we've got to come into the pits for lap 22 for one more pit stop, which isn't good, and it's unscheduled completely, and we're going to lose more more positions, and with four races, sorry, four laps to go, could we be getting our first downgrades in three or four races? This would be an absolute shock result, but... um. It does seem like this is going to be the case unless we can pull off some miraculous comeback on these option tyres in the last four laps. And uh, we're going to have a really long 8.3 second pit stop and we're going to rejoin presumably in P8 because uh, Kvyas has gone past us there. And we're going to wait. I think Jason Button is coming through the final corner now, but we should come out just ahead of him on track. So um, we're going to see if we can try and hunt down Danny Kvyat for P7 at least to try and reduce the amount of dagways we're going to get. As there's Jason Button going through turn one right now, but we should come out uh, nice and clearly in front of him then. Yes, we do. We come out in front of the British driver there. So no worries for us, but uh, now skipping later on onto the final lap of the race. And as you can see, Kimi Rockin has actually won the race, so um, a new winner this year for the turn 15 season. And uh, we're going to come through in P8 just behind Danny Kvyat. One more lap, and I could have had him there, which is a shame, but we will take 8th place, unfortunately. The best we could have got this race. So there we have it, official confirmation as we finish in P8, a so really disappointing result for us this race. Kimi Rockin wins the race with Lewis Hamilton two seconds behind him, so a brand new winner like I mentioned this season. And our teammate Felipe Massa finishing in P5 behind Daniel Ricciardo there, so um, a potential missed opportunity for more points for our teammate Felipe Massa there. But uh, nonetheless, 8th place, like I said, that's, that does mean we are going to have 
because of the new rule that got introduced for this race, we do have four downgrades, I believe. So this is going to be the first time in a while that we're going to have to downgrade. It's going to hit us hard with a massive four downgrades for the next race, which will be at Hungary. So we might get off lightly with that, but... um. Just looking at the remaining of the order, Nico Rosberg finished way down to 17th after that contact. So um, in the Drivers' Championship, we're now 48 points behind Lewis Hamilton. So he's pulled out even a bigger of a gap on us. And Nico Rosberg has dropped some points, which is the only positive we can take away from that race. But um, Lewis Hamilton, crucially, has pulled out an even bigger gap on us, which isn't good for the championship. And um, now a quick look at the constructors. We're now down to third place as Ferrari have now overtaken us thanks to that Ferrari race win there with King Rockland taking the 25 points. But nevertheless, we are still third in the constructors and still second in the drivers so we're now going to focus on the upgrades and downgrades and we're going to look over to the new upgrades and downgrades board and as you can see we're finishing p8 that race which means we've got four spins of the wheel in the negative position which means four downgrades for the next race so um, we're going to spin the wheel now and we're going to see what we get and um, the first spin we're going to see what we get is going to equate to the following which should be the rear suspension so we're going to have the rear suspension back to default for the next race and now we're going to look at the next value which will be hopefully it's not something too bad because otherwise it's going to hurt us a lot but uh, we're going to get the front camber by the look of it yeah we get the front camber and um, now we're going to look at our third downgrade because obviously we don't want to get bankrupt because that'll be awful so hopefully we can get something individual that won't be too bad we get the rear wing that is a big one for us that's going to hit us hard because around hungry it shouldn't be too bad but we've got spa after that so that's going to hit us very hard indeed and uh, now we're going to spin the wheel for the fourth time and the final time hopefully it's not too bad and we're going to get oh no it's got no it's bankrupt oh Jesus, this means that we are going to have to reset our setup for the next race in Hungary. So we're going to have a default setup for the next race, which absolutely sucks with that bank run. But nevertheless, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like down below. If you're new around here, then please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter if you feel free. Link in the description down below. But nevertheless, guys, I'll see you guys next time for the Hungarian Grand Prix. So from me, goodbye.